Hey guys, it's Yuri. Today I want to show you guys my new skincare routine that I've been doing it every Sunday and I've been really loving it. So I'm using, I'm going to show you how to use four different tools from Japanese. One is the thermal plane and I'm going to show you guys how to remove your blackhead and I'm going to show you guys the proper way to do micro needles and follow up with ice roller that is going to be really beneficial for your skin. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do dermaplane. So this is little razor right here. Make sure it's clean and sanitized. This is brand new. It looks like this. And um, so this is really good to, stimul um, to stimulate collagen. Also remove the dead skin and all the little hair or fuzz. So that way when you put your moisturizer, it's absorbed better. Also when you put your foundation, it just looks a lot smoother. But please be really careful when you're doing this because you can totally hurt yourself if you're not doing it the right way. So follow along. So first, of course, start with a clean face. And then we're going to do it area per area. Do it very gentle, not putting too much pressure. So what you want is to tuck your skin a little bit up like that, upward. And you're going to start doing a really, really little movement, just like so. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to put your fingers right here and pull up. And then make sure you hold the razor really gentle and lightly, not too much pressure. And small movement down. As you can tell I'm not putting any pressure at all on the skin. So. And now that all the dead skin is off and all that little hair is gone, so I'm just using a toner here, clean it up. And I'm going to show you guys how to extract a blackhead. So here's the tools for you guys to use to remove your blackhead. My problem area is usually around my T-zone. Majority it's on my nose area and on my chin. And I like this little tools because I also have a um, little silicone grip in here and I come in different sizes. So depending what size that you want to work with. And I like this tools the most, this one with a flat head. So I'm going to show you. Sorry, we're going to get real close right here. So now that we're done with the extraction, again, I'm going to use a toner to clean it up. Now we're going to use ice roller. I put this in the fridge for about 20 minutes, but I usually leave it in the fridge and I do this in the morning when I have a lot of puffiness. Usually I wake up with a lot of puffiness. So this definitely helps, especially if you cry the night before. It works. <laughs> so let me show you guys. This is reduced redness, inflammatory. It just feels so good. Especially on the area that you did a lot of extraction. It helps to calm it down. And then usually for around eye area right here, when I get the most puffy, I like to do that.
And last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how the proper way to do the micro needle. These micro needles look like this. They have a tiny little needles on the roller. I used to be very scared to use these tools, but after I master it, it really doesn't hurt at all. In the beginning, I thought it's gonna puncture my skin. It does, but it's not. And also don't worry about the redness that occur after you do the deep extraction, but please be careful, don't do it until like it hurts too much because you know also doesn't want to bruise your skin. So make sure to be a little bit more gentle, just enough pressure to get rid of all the, the blackhead. Okay, so again, with this roller, make sure to do it only on one direction and do it gently. I just like to do everything up or upward and don't be too aggressive. I see people doing it like this. I just don't agree with anything aggressive to your skin. So please be gentle. And this is also helps to stimulate collagen and is going to help your skin to absorb all the serums, all the mass, and all the goodies that you're going to put on your skin after this facial. So I usually just do one area at a time so you know you're doing it properly and you're doing it evenly. Just do two to three at a time on each side. Just think of like you're painting. Imagine that. And now that we're done with that, we're going to add serum or oil or whatever you like. I like to use oil and just rub in your hand first before you put it in your skin. And there you go. It's going to absorb all the good stuff because all And that's it you guys thank you so much for watching my home facial with japanese i hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial or videos if you have any question you can direct message me or leave a comment i'm going to try to explain or answer as much as i can and until then i'll talk to you guys later